Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers. In today's episode we're going to talk about how to optimize your Windows and Nvidia settings for the best performance for your 3D Studio Max program. So sometimes it happens that you have uh, one scene open and then you have another one from where you need to take some stuff and put it on the other scene and also you have the Photoshop open and you also have the Spotify open and you also have the uh, Chrome open and so on and you realize that your computer starts moving very slow. So in today's episode I'm going to show you how to optimize your computer to have the best performance for your 3d studio max uh, program so if you are interested in this don't forget please to subscribe share this with your friends and also don't forget to like this video it will really help my uh, channel and also in the moment that you like one uh, one video on youtube you're gonna have it saved in your uh, liked videos so okay if you are ready uh, let's dive in So the first thing that you need to do for your Windows is to open Windows Explorer and here you go to your computer, which is this PC. Here you just go to right click properties and here you go to advanced uh, system settings and this is going to be open. Here you have com your computer name, hardware and so on. You need to go to advanced to settings and here you probably you're gonna have let Windows choose what's best for your computer. Well, we don't need to do that. We're gonna say adjust for best performance. We're gonna click here, use drop shadows for icons labels on the desktop. So your, uh, des your icons on the desktop, they're gonna have a nice shadows underneath. Uh, you can take this out. The only thing that you need to do is smooth edges of screen font. Then click apply. It's gonna take a couple of uh, seconds for the computer to apply the new settings. And okay, and now you can just close. Okay, the second thing that we're gonna do is go to power options, power and sleep settings. And here we're gonna go adjust power and sleep settings, uh, additional power settings. And it's gonna open this tab. Here we're gonna go to change plan setting, change advanced power settings, and it's gonna open this. Now it's on balanced active. Here we're gonna go to high performance. Here we're gonna, on the turn off hard disk after, we're gonna click zero. So in this way, when you render overnight, your computer is not gonna stop after 20 minutes, your heart, your hardware. Then you go to sleep, sleep after never, you put zero. Hibernate after never, you put here zero. And um, play, turn off display after, uh, 15 minutes yeah you can have whatever you want here i have 15 minutes also sometimes actually the best way is to add zero here and in the moment that you leave your computer to render overnight you can just shut down your monitors or the, your monitor from the power button I'm gonna click OK, apply, I'm gonna click apply, OK, and I'm gonna close this for now. So now we did the uh, options for our for our Windows. So in this moment, Windows is gonna use as less as possible from your RAM and from your processor. So you're gonna have more for your uh, 3D Studio Mac. In the second part, we're gonna discuss about Nvidia settings. So in my case, I have an Nvidia graphic card. So I'm just gonna open Nvidia control panel. This just gonna make it bigger. And we're gonna start with the settings for this. And let's see, settings, uh, image scaling off, ambient occlusion off, anisotropic filtering application control, anti-aliasing off, anti-aliasing gamma correction on, anti-aliasing on application control, anti-aliasing transparency off, background application max frame rate off, CUDA GPU uh, all, DSR factor off. Then max frame rate, background application max frame rate, which is this one, we're gonna have this on, and we're gonna use 20, which is 50 of 58 frames per second. No, we're gonna use on and leave it to 20 frames per second. Okay, power management, please set to prefer maximum performance, vertical sync fast and texture filtering to performance. Now apply and uh, restart your computer. So normally uh, after you restarted your computer, your computer should work much faster than before and it should be much responsive than before. So if you found this uh, video useful, please don't forget to subscribe. As I said, it really helps my channel uh, to grow and it also helps other people to find the videos that I'm making here. And 
yeah don't forget to like this uh, this video if you find it useful and see you in the next one bye